Hi guys! It's time for another video and uh, this time it's going to be a collection update. Uh, I have been getting some uh, really great titles during the past week since my last collection update so uh, let's jump into it and see what I have gotten. We start off with the DVDs and first off here we have The Bridges of Madison County. Uh, haven't seen this one before, so I was really happy to uh, come across come across this for uh, only ten Swedish kroner, a uh, dollar fifty about. Really happy to find uh, to find it for that price until I got home and uh, took a look uh, closer look at the back, and if you see, can see there. It says standard version, which means this isn't the widescreen version of the film, it's the uh, pan and scan version. I hate pan and scan versions, so this is going to be replaced by a widescreen version pretty soon, because I want to see this film, but I'm not gonna do it in a pan and scan version. Next off, I have uh, Chernobyl Diaries. Heard some okay things about this movie, uh, but uh, I I want to see what this this movie is about. So, for the price, I I came across this for twenty nine Swedish kroner. I thought that that was uh, an okay deal and well worth uh, to check this one out. Next off is a blind buy for me, Elizabeth Town, starring Orlando Bloom, Kirsten Dunst. Haven't heard uh, that much about the f about the film, but what I have heard, it sounds pretty interesting. So. Uh, uh, I'm gonna check this one out soon. Next up, I have a pretty good title. This one is Ip Man 2. I have Ip Man, the first Ip Man already in my collection. Have seen this one before, but I haven't in it in my collection until now. So, great addition to my collection, especially my martial arts collection. So, great film. If you haven't seen the the Ip Man movies, I suggest you check them them out. But do only check out the Ip Man and Ip Man Two movies. There is, uh, I think, at least two more Ip Man titles already out. Uh, uh, one being the Legend of. Uh, Ip Man the Legend is Born, I think. That one is not so good. And it, there is another win which, which is a load of crap. Uh, so, yeah. Next up is another blind buy. This is The Yearling. I didn't even know this movie existed. Uh, until I picked up picked it up uh, the other day, but for ten Swedish kroner, this one was definitely uh, well worth picking up, and also for the fact that Gregory Peck is starring in this film, I really enjoyed Gregory Peck movies. Next off is another blind buy, and that is Wonder Boys. Now what sold me on this movie was the the great cast on, in this film. We have Michael Douglas, Tobey Maguire, Francis McDormand, Katie Holmes and Robert Downey Jr. So great cast, I'm sure it's a great film. So going to check that out soon. Next up is uh, a classic film I should probably should have seen before, but I haven't. And that is Kelly's Heroes. 
Storing Clint Eastwood, Telly Salvas, Savalas, uh, uh, Donald Sutland, uh, Don Riclo, and Carol O'Connor. This one I've heard nothing but good things about, so really excited to have this in one in my collection. I, I'm also I like really like Clint Eastwood films, so great addition to the, my collection. Uh, next up, I have uh, Jackie Chan's Police Story 2. Now this one is a Hong Kong Legends release. I am trying to get all the Hong Kong Legends releases, or I, should, I think I should say as many as I can, because I know there is some titles which would be really hard to, to get, if not impossible to get, uh, simply because they are ridiculously high priced on places like Amazon, uh, from ranging from uh, uh, 30 pound all the way up to 80 90 pound for a, a single release so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get any of those titles to those prices it's just ridiculous but I am uh, uh, trying to pick up as many as I can of the more cheaper titles and here we have another Hong Kong Legends release this is the black sheep affair Real blind buy for me. I haven't heard anything at all about this film. Get some mixed reviews online, but as I said, it is a Hong Kong Legends release, so I had to pick it, pick this one up. Next one is Angel Face, starring Robert Mitchum and Gene Simmons, directed by Otto Preminger, and this one is a film noir classic. Now, I did a, a, a bit of a mistake when ordering this from Amazon UK. I thought I was uh, ordering the uh, the US release of this. Uh, turns out uh, it, this is the region free UK release. Uh, so when I got it, I was a bit worried that the picture quality was going to suck. So I popped it in my DVD player and uh, took a quick look at it and it actually seems fine. So uh, it turned out to, to be not as bad, bad uh, a deal as I thought I was doing. So there you have the uh, the DVDs I have picked up, now off to the Blu-rays. And first off here we have Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction. Now this one I picked up at Fyndlagret, uh, which I saw in uh, some footage of uh, in my uh, going shopping video. Uh, this one I picked up for 29 Swedish kroner, however it was still sealed. So this one is in absolute mint condition. It's brand spanking new and for that price alone I really have to had to pick it, pick this one up. Already have the title on DVD, so this one is going to replace that DVD. Next off, I got uh, Avatar. Really enjoyed the film and uh, for 29 Swedish kroner as I picked, it, picked this one up, it was a great deal. So, really happy to have this in my collection. Next one up, uh, next up here is three titles I picked up at uh, Amazon UK. And those are The Perks of Being a Wallflower, The Silver Linings Playbook, and the artist. Now, of, of these three, I've only seen the artist before. Uh, really enjoyed this film, even if it is a silent movie. It is just a great film. It's so much fun to see this one. So, uh, 
if you haven't seen the artist, definitely uh, take a look at it because it's a great film. Uh, the Silver Linings, uh, I heard just a bunch of great things about, so I'm really excited to take a look at this film. Perks of Being a Wallflower, uh, this is sort of a blind buy, but uh, it's got have it's got some really great reviews, and it's starring Emma Watson. So that's what sold me about uh, on this movie. Yeah. Next off is a title I've already shown you in my going shopping video, and this that is Chronicle. This is the Blu-ray DVD and digital copy collection, uh, digital copy uh, edition, and it is the extended cut. So, not going to talk any more about it since I already said quite a lot about it in my going shopping video. And finally, I have two titles uh, left to show you. And first off, we have a really, really great deal. Uh, I picked this one up at uh, cdonu.sc, a uh, Swedish online store, for 199 Swedish kroner, and that is Harry Potter The Complete 8 Film Collection. This is great. Really, really great. All 8 films on Blu-ray. I have already the first two titles on DVD in my collection. However, those are going to be replaced by this one. So, really excited to have this one in my collection now. And for the price I got it for, as I said, 199 Swedish kroner, it is a great, great deal. And finally, a movie I just picked up we got in the mail today and that is the evil dead this is the remake i've been waiting for uh, for a few weeks now since i ordered it from amazon.uk first time actually i ordered it from that site so really good this is the blu-ray digital ultraviolet edition uh, and yeah, ultraviolet, not going to bother with that. I actually haven't uh, checked in, out any ultraviolet copies. However, it says right here it's US only. So, uh, and that's just fine. I only, I'm only interested in the Blu-ray. And as you know, I have already the the original uh, Evil Dead on Blu-ray. So now I can finally sit down and watch both movies and see which one is the better of, better of the two. So there you have it, my all my new DVDs and Blu-ray for the past week or so. Uh, some great titles, some great, great deals, and uh, yeah, leave a comment if you would like, uh, give it this movie a thumbs up if you like, uh, or better yet, subscribe to the channel. So, until my next video, bye bye.